Now let's have a look at inventory turnover. This is the number of times that inventory of a business is replaced during an accounting period or the number of times inventory is replaced during a year. Now the information below appeared in the business of El Hinjo for the year ended 31 October 2015. Opening inventory was 25,400, closing inventory was 30,200 and cost of sales was 61,900. Now what's required is to calculate the average inventory and to calculate the rate of inventory turnover. Now to calculate the average inventory, what you need to do is take the opening inventory plus the closing inventory and divide that by 2. So we can do this now. 25,400 plus 30,200 divided by 2 that will give us an average stock of 27,800 and then the rate of inventory turnover is our cost of sales divided by our average inventory so our cost of sales is 61,900 divided by our average inventory which is 27,800 this is the amount we just calculated and that will give us a stock turnover of 2.2 times but what's important to note is that you should round this to the next whole number which is 2 now let's have a look at arriving at missing figures using the inventory turnover this is now when we are given the inventory turnover and the question asks us to find the missing information. In our example, we have a company called Garus Enterprise. The financial year of Garus Enterprise ends 30 September each year. The owner does not keep complete set of accounting records but was able to provide the following information for 30 September 2016. Initial inventory was 18,000. Final inventory was 25,000. The business had an inventory turnover rate of 3 times during the year. The business also applied a markup of 20% on all goods sold. So now what's required is to calculate the cost of sales and we need to show our working and also we need to use the information obtained in A which is the cost of sales to prepare the income statement and specifically the trading account section and to include the following we need to include the sales, we need to include the purchases and we need to include the gross profit so now our formula for our inventory turnover if you can remember is the cost of sales divided by the average inventory now we already have the inventory turnover this was given to us and that is 3 and to calculate our average inventory we can take our opening inventory plus our closing inventory divide that by 2 so now we are left with our cost of sales that we need to determine so again we can swap this formula around to say we need to find our cost of sales so now we can say our average inventory multiplied by our inventory turnover this will give us our cost of sales so 3 multiplied by 21,500 that will give us a cost of sales of 64,500 and this is the trading account of Garo's Enterprise and so now we will first enter our cost of sales that we calculated so our cost of sales will be 64,500 then we will calculate our gross profit we'll do that by taking our markup and multiplying that with our cost of sales so our markup is 20% our cost of sales that we calculated is 64,500 and 20% of that is 12,900 and we can go ahead and enter that next we'll have a look at our sales 
Now this one is easy. What we need to do is add 64,500 and 12,900 just like we did in our previous examples. And then we'll get 77,400. And then from here on, we just now need to find the total that we get from adding our initial inventory plus our purchases now to get that we will just take our cost of sales plus our closing inventory just like we did in a previous example and then finally to calculate our purchases we will take the total we just calculated and we will subtract our opening stock and then we'll have our figure for purchases see that wasn't hard at all if you remember the steps this can be extremely easy so in conclusion we use the markup with the cost of sales to get the gross profit and the formula is markup multiplied by cost of sales that will give you your gross profit we use the margin and the sales to get the gross profit and the formula is margin multiplied by sales equals gross profit and lastly if we are already given the inventory turnover then we have to rearrange the formula to get our cost of sales